Okay, <clears throat> we're going to do the Clouser Crippled Minnow here. I got a size one hook here. I got some marabou, two different colors. I have some uh, dyed pearl diamond braid, but I'm sure you can wrap the shaft with anything else. Two colors of deer hair, some eyes, some other things here. Well, we're going to start first by laying on the thread. <clears throat> I run it from the front to the back because for the deer hair it's nice to have the flat wax on there. I run it to the back and make a tiny little ball to make sure the marabou flares a little bit. I lock it in and we'll trim off the excess here. <clears throat> And we're going to start with the uh, white marabou. We're going to pull it together like so and figure out about how much we want here. About like that. I'm going to pinch it. Wrap it a couple times to hold it in place. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back, pull some of this excess off to keep the shaft pretty true what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up like so to keep the shaft even and about I don't know about that far maybe a little more I'll put a couple wraps in the same spot cinch it down a little bit trim off the excess All right, we got the white on. <clears throat> now we got the red. We're going to figure out exactly where we want it, how we want it. We want it the same length as best we can. We're going to pull that down, and we're going to pull this back. And I'm going to drop wrap this over here a couple times. Cinch it down. And I'm going to make sure I got the all the red in my fingers like so and I'm going to wrap it forward or wrap it back I should say to the tail and I'll go right over top of my other threads wrap a couple times I'm going to trim off the excess okay we got that now we're going to take the dyed pearl diamond braid, braid in the red bill for this one. On one of them I use white. I've used different colors. Pretty much your preference. I'm going to tie it in and I'm going to work my thread back up to the front. I'm going to cinch it on. Like so, not up like that. I'm gonna trim off some of these little excess things so they don't come through the diamond braid. Okay, now we're gonna spin the diamond braid up. Drop it about so. Lock it in, a couple wraps. It's in. In. We're going to lock this in like so. We'll finish it. Okay, we're done with that. Now for deer here, I like using uh, the GSP 200. It seems to hold better. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it on there. Lock all this in. Cinch it. And trim this off here a little bit. Okay. Clear some of this stuff out of the way here real quick. And we're going to go on to the deer here. As you can see, I got a bunch of them started. <clears throat> so, but we're going to move on with this. And we're going to do the bottom first. We're going to do the white. White deer here. <clears throat> and we're going to take a pretty healthy chunk. About like so. We're going to trim it off. Like so. And we're going to clean out all the fibers. Bring this up. We'll lock my vise in. Alright, this is the tricky part. We want to make sure the fibers aren't too long going towards the back. That looks like about right. Right there. So we we'll want to make one. Two wraps. We're going to make sure we got a hold of this up here. And we're going to cinch that down. We're going to make one wrap through it all to lock it in. I'll flip it over. Man, it looks like it could use a little more white. So we're going to put some more white on there. Another clump. Clean it up. Cut this a little bit shorter. And we're going to lay this right beside that one, making sure we get the same length. I'll pull this out. suggest to hold everything in place right I'm gonna put a drop of glue right here on the top got that now we're gonna go with the red take a pretty nice clump Just like the white, I might have to add a little more if it doesn't fill in right. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to make sure it's all cleaned out. We're going to get it about the right length we need it. Don't lay it in there. We're going to take a couple wraps. We're going to cinch it down. Oh, I'm thinking we may not need any more. It looks pretty good. Alright, we've got one little piece here. And now we've got to find our eye in here. It should be between the two, which it pretty much is. Got a got the wrong one. I don't know if I can find the other one. Here's one piece of plastic with a hole in it. I stick it over the eye, like so. I just take this good old packer, lay it back here, and I pull this tight, and I work my way up in between the plastic. And I wrap it up. He 
see, it takes eight or ten wraps. Broke the thread. Gosh darn it. Let's see if I can lock this in without too much difficulty. Okay, I got that. Pull that out of the way. We gotta get this whip finished here. It's gonna be difficult because I broke the thread, but we're gonna work with it. Got it on there. Got that, got that. That's off of there. Got this one off of there. Now we got several ways of doing this. We got this on here like so. Make sure things are lined up properly, which they look like it. I'm gonna take my curved scissors <clears throat> and I'm gonna try folding this back and try finding just start my way around it. Take a little razor blade. Quick trim. Sorry, I wasn't talking. I was concentrating there. Okay, now we're going to lay it up on its side. Cauterizing tool. I'm going to turn it my way just a little bit. Big burn hole. 
put a drop of glue in it. And take an eye and put it in there. Got it in there. Flip it over. Try to get the eye pretty close. I'm going to pin it. And there you have it. <clears throat> All right, thank you for watching. And I'm going to be doing another one here. I'm going to be doing my bait fish in a few days. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to have these all on my YouTube channel. I'm going to post a link in my group. All right, everybody, thank you, and have a good evening.